12, verse 7. Read. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door post of the houses wherein they shall eat it. Now, are we going to go out and get some lamb, uh, some sheep, and get some cups of blood and go out on our house and put blood, blood all on the doorposts? Now, most of us don't have doorposts. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us don't have a house. We live in somebody else's apartment. How many would like to see what that really means? Today. It's answered in the book what it means. I'm not just going to say this. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4 explain what it means today. This would be incredible knowledge once you get off on this track. Ezekiel 9, 4. Read. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Notice that there's a substitute for the blood of the lamb. It becomes what? A mark. Where? On your forehead. All the men that are tired of the abomination must have a mark upon that forehead. That's the only way you're going to be saved. In Egypt, you were saved by blood on the doorpost from a lamb. Now the lamb is with you, and you can't kill the lamb. The lamb that is with you is without blemish. Without wrong. It doesn't matter what you think. The lamb is without wrong. I shut myself up. My message is perfect. And I'm telling you, you must now have to be saved and delivered and brought out of America. You must have a mark upon your forehead. Now, what is, what, what, what you mean, what kind of mark? You gonna hit me in the head with a hammer? Cut me with a knife? Burn me with a torch? Oh, Lord, I don't want to get no mark on me. <laughs> How many would like to know about this mark? That you're supposed to get up on your face? Yeah, I heard about 666, man. I ain't going for no 666 now. They talking about putting a mark up on my forehead with 666. And here you come talking about, I got to have a mark on my forehead, y'all. I thought, you're going to have to be marked by one of us, either me or Satan. You thought all you had to do was avoid Satan's mark, 666, in your forehead. See, now you got another mark coming. I'm going to knock one upside your head. <laughs> Want to know about it? <laughs> Revelation 7, 3. Future, huh? Read. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God, Yudhewafe, Yahweh, in their foreheads. And I told you I was the lamb, and you're not going to get to kill me this time. Revelation 14, 1. Read. 
And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. I am that lamb. I am the lamb. See, they killed it before, but you can't kill it. You can't kill it. They killed one. They killed a lamb. They've been killing sheep all the time, symbolically. But see, you can't kill me. Don't you see this? Don't you see the result? Because there's going to be 144,000 of you that are going to stand with me. I'm not worried about am I going to get my 144,000 of you. I am. Every one of you that come to me are part of that 144,000. Praise God. That's what Passover is all about. You giving up your slave name and receive my father's name. I'm your example. I have received my father's name. And Passover, in order for you to be delivered from America, you must have my father's name written where? In your forehead. That's deeper than simply being able to say the name. It must be indelibly imprinted, written. That no matter what anybody says or does, Yahweh is written in your forehead. No matter how anybody treats you, Yahweh's name is still written in your forehead. Nobody can take it out. They may put you out their house, but they can't put Yahweh out of your mind. That's real. That's incredible, too. Revelation 9, 4. This is going to blow you right on into a real understanding. Read. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God, Yudhe Yahweh, in their foreheads. When you watch the news, you watch television, you see men dying. Right on the screen, screen you see their brains blown out, gassed to death by the thousands. Chemical warfare, that's all going on now. Bombs being dropped. People throw a rock and get shot to death. Beaten to death all across America and the world. But why? Because they do not have the seal of my father Yahweh's name written in their forehead. These are the examples that Yahweh is using. The men that are being hurt. These are the men that the angels ought to hurt. The only ones that are not allowed to hurt are those who have my father's name sealed in their forehead. Revelations 13, 16. Revelations chapter 13, verse 16 and 17. Read. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, 
and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What is that saying? That's what I said to you earlier. There's two marks. One from Satan and one from Yahweh. Notice where the battle is being fought. It's being fought in the mind. Notice what the battle is about and what the prize is. What is it? Your mind. And guess who has to make the choice? That makes this what kind of day? Judgment day. You have to choose this day whom you are going to serve whether it be Satan or Yahweh. Either way it goes, you are going to have a mark. One mark is going to cause you to be hurt by the angels of Yahweh. The other mark, 666, which belongs to Satan, he threatens you with starvation. that you won't be able to own a business or run a business or make money unless you have his mom. Now you have to make a choice between the man that can destroy your body or choose the man that can destroy both body and soul and cast it in the head. You have to choose this day who you fear the most. The devil himself said he's going to do something to you and you should be killed or hurt and punished, not be allowed to live, eat, buy or sell if you don't receive his mark. Then the other one says, if you, if you don't have my mark, my angels are going to hurt you. Either way, you are faced with a painful decision. But the results will be different. One will carry your life temporary. One carries life eternal. Woo, what a choice. What a choice. 